Okay, welcome to the wrap-up session of the first hackathon in 2020. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but I mean, for me, this one seemed to go really, really fast. Uh, so I don't know if it's the the amount of contribution that came in, or I mean, lots of good interactions on on channels like Gitter. Uh, but uh, it was not only fun, but it went uh, by really, really fast. So. Um, again, I want to thank you for everybody who participated and, and, and contributed. Uh, so just going to spend a few minutes just wrapping up uh, the, the session. I, I know, um, you know, if you're like me in the Pacific time zone, we still have like a several hours left in the day. So I expect more contribution to come in. Uh, but just wanted to sort of do a quick wrap up and, and give you a, a sense of where we are. Um, so, um, just a quick recap. Uh, I mean, we had a number of tutorial sessions and office hours uh, this time around. I mean, thanks to all the presenters and and everybody who dialed in and or participated and 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 uh, uh, contributed to the discussions. Um, I mean, for the first time, we had a couple of teams do their office hours in in. Uh, conjunction with, with the hackathon. Uh, I thought the both sessions for the package and runner team were went really well with, with some good interactions with community members and hopefully you got a good sense of how um, those teams uh, review and, 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 and look at community contributions and hope, hopefully you also got a sense of where we uh, would like your contributions and input. Um, so uh, all the recordings uh, from yesterday are certainly posted, and, and uh, in a few hours, I'll post uh, recordings of this session along with the office hour from earlier today. But you'll see uh, the sessions, um, you know, presentations and or recordings available on the hackathon uh, hackathon page, and there's also the hackathon playlist. Um, and the office hours they have their own playlist as well. Uh, so you should be able to find them in one of our YouTube channels uh, for GitLab. Um, so that said, in terms of tutorial sessions, uh, in terms of MRs, um, I mean, I think I alluded to the amazing amount of volume. Uh, when I checked last time, we already surpassed uh, 140 MRs that have come in. Um, so we, uh, uh, you know, obliterated the previous record of 109 that we had for the Q4 hackathon uh, last year. So, I mean, thank you for that. The the amount of MRs that come in uh, that have been coming in has been been phenomenal. Um, and out of those 140 plus, uh, I saw that. I mean, I, I don't know what the count is right now, but when I checked last time, uh, within the last hour, the, more than 30 were already merged. Uh, so making good progress. Uh, also want to thank the reviewers and, and maintainers who've been who've been uh, providing feedback and, and merging those contributions as well. Um, in terms of uh, the breadth of contributions, um, uh, I, this might be the. I mean, we might have had the. Uh, uh, in terms of breadth, I mean, we, we may have, I, we probably had the best participation along uh, amongst different projects at GitLab. I mean, not only the flagship GitLab project, but Gitly, uh, designgitlab.com, Pages, Runner, uh, SVGs, UI, uh, our website, and I think I forgot to list Gitter here. I, I noticed a couple of uh, MRs coming for the Gitter project as well. Uh, so in terms of the uh, you know, broad spectrum of products that uh, that we have at GitLab. I mean, we had some um, some great participation across the board. Uh, so definitely, thank you for that. And um, you know, I tried to do my best to capture the MRs, hackathon MRs, in the issue uh, that you see the link here. I have a screenshot. Uh, if I happen to miss any any one of them, it's very possible with with the volume of MRs that have been coming in. I mean, please let me know on Gitter or via email. Um, that uh, I should, you know, include your MR that that that, that I somehow miss. But again, uh, uh, you know, we had already a great number of MRs come in, and then, um, you know, I'm I'm sure there are people in the Pacific time zone like I am. I, I uh, um, it wouldn't surprise me if you have more MRs come in. Uh, so definitely look forward to that as well. Uh, in terms of prizes. Um, 
uh, went over this during the kickoff. So we have the, I mean, this has sort of been our routine, the, the grand prize, the second prize and, and anybody with the merge MR. So they, those are the prizes that you see on the right of this, of the slide. Um, and just the deadline to keep in mind is the 2300 UTC on February 25th, which is Tuesday. Um, uh, so the MRs must be merged by that date. But if you, uh, for whatever reason, if you have any issues, uh, if you feel like the, the reviews aren't happening fast enough or if you run into other obstacles, uh, please let me know. If, if you have any, for whatever reason, if you have, um, might have challenges with that deadline on, on the 25th, uh, please ping me or David Planella um, on that handle on, on Gitter channel, and and we'll see what we can uh, how we can help you out there. Um, in terms of the dates for the next hackathon, uh, we'll do it on uh, the middle of May, uh, 13th and 14th. It should be Thursday and uh, um, Wednesday and Thursday of that uh, that week. Um, so hope to see you again uh, in about three months uh, period. And as usual, look for announcements on various social channels, um, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Gitter, uh, and Reddit's also a very popular forum for GitLab community members, so we'll definitely make announcements there. Um, and if you have any feedback on the event um, um, and you know topics that you like to see for tutorials, uh, tutorial or office hour sessions, I mean, please let, let me and David know. Um, and definitely want to uh, incorporate your feedback so that, um, that the future hackathons are uh, even better than the ones we had in the past. Uh, so do, do let us know if you have any feedback or, or suggestions. Uh, just as a wrap up, uh, you may have seen this uh, on the blog post I made um, last month. Uh, I, I share some numbers and, uh, and stats from our community uh, looking back on 2019. Um, so, I mean, a couple of things that I want to highlight. I mean, the one, the, the, uh, the graph on in, in red um, shows you the number of merged MRs. I mean, you've seen tremendous growth uh, from, like if you look from 2017 to 2019, I mean, we more than double the number of MRs that have been merged. Uh, they can't, came from the wider community. And the other thing that was really, um, uh, really nice to see was that if you look at the number of like individual contributors, if you compare the number between 2018 and 2019, we just about double the number of people that have been contributing to GitLab. And, um, you know, I think this is a great indication that this is a thriving and growing community. We definitely want to keep it that way. Um, I mean, not only in terms of the, uh, the MRs or code, code contribution that you bring in, I mean, we definitely uh, appreciate the insight that you bring. Uh, uh, when you open up MRs, um, it's not just the code we get, but it, it's it's um, your viewpoint and insight that comes through is it's it's uh, is probably more valuable than anything else. Uh, so I want to encourage you to um, keep it going and um, definitely want to see continue uh, want to see a continued growth of this community. And I have this thing on the right. If I uh, if you click on it, it's a link to the top contributors page. Uh, so we we I started doing this last year. I started doing it with like a 2018 top contributors. Uh, so you see the number of MRs, and we have different categories based on the number of MRs that you submitted. Um, so this is a way of recognizing people that have made regular contributions. Uh, I mean, regular contribution. I I defined it as people who had five or five or more MRs merged during the year. Um, and even this like a regular contributor ranks um, pretty much double year over year from 2018 to 2019. Um, and you see the number of people here that are listed uh, who uh, made uh, consistent con contribution throughout the year. And, uh, you know, hopefully um, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, list grows and evolves in uh, for 2020. But that's, uh, that's another page that I highlighted in the blog post as well. Um, so just wanted to um, uh, point you to that if you haven't seen that before. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, I, if I haven't already, again, want to thank you for um, an amazing amount of, I mean, contributions and energy that you brought over the past few days. Uh, and uh, definitely look forward to doing this again uh, in a three months time frame. Uh, want to pause here to see if you have any questions um, from the people that are on the call. Um, and if you're not able to, I mean, if you're watching this uh, on, on a recording and, and from our YouTube channel, uh, I mean, feel free to ping me if you have any questions, if you aren't able to be on the session live um, and on Gitter and, and other channels, just, just reach out to me with, with questions and comments. I'd certainly appreciate it. All right, so it looks like that's a wrap. Uh, if you're uh, in, in the West Coast of the US and if you're still working on things, um, uh, look, definitely look forward to more of your contributions if your day's already over. Um, uh, thanks again and uh, hope you uh, have a good Friday and a good weekend. All right, thanks everybody. Cheers.